Good morning, everybody. It is 11 minutes past eight o'clock right now. And Friday, we had a chance to uh, witness something that was very cool. Now on the program, you saw a couple of sprint car drivers, uh, Matthew Johnson and Jamie Ball come into the studio and talk about the best Christmas ever. Something that Matthew Johnson learned about last year. And lo and behold, he became a captain and tried to get the best Christmas ever for a family here in central Iowa. So it was a lot of work, but it all came down to delivering presents to a family that really could use the best Christmas ever. Now, over the weekend on Friday night, we had a chance to go and witness this all firsthand, and our friends at Local 5 were right on top of it. Trading race cars for trucks full of presents, Matthew Johnson and Jamie Ball brought the first ever Best Christmas Ever to one Iowa family. We got 16 nominations from 16 deserving families. We got a super touching story uh, from the Warwick family. The drivers found out about Luke and Nicole Warwick from their family. The reason I nominated this family, first off, is I love them dearly. <laughs> the Warwicks both serve with the Mingo Fire Department and volunteer in other areas of their community. Luke's father passed from cancer this year. A month later, his 16-year-old son was diagnosed with cancer too. That is something that that no family should have to go through. We wanted to bring everyone together and show them that they are not alone. Here, uh, we're going to send you to uh, Disney World. <laughs> Penny hopes this will lift their spirits as another family member takes on this ultimate fight. They're never going to forget it and it's going to help them through all their mass treatments and the hard times. And this best Christmas ever brings light into Nicole's life light she sees in her stepson each day. We don't ask for anything, and Matt has right. been such a fighter through the whole whole thing. Like, nothing's holding this kid back. <laughs> I just wanted to say that to you. Yeah, and we are being joined in studio right now by the Warwick family. We have the whole gang here. How about that? That is really cool. This is Matt uh, sitting next to me. Of course, we have Nicole and Luke uh, over there, too. And then in the back, we have uh, Lydia and Patrick. Uh, a, a amazing happenings on Friday night. Now, did you have any clue whatsoever anything like this was going to happen? No. Not, <laughs> no. Not, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> we were just having a family Christmas at home, you know. Or, so that's what the deal was. Yeah, we, we, we were just going to have food and play games and have some fun before Matt goes in for treatment the morning after Christmas. That's, so it that's was when just it all starts. get together. Okay, now we're going we're gonna to show you the scene that was set uh, when we all came upon the house uh, on Friday night. But let's talk about um, Matt going to treatment here. Uh, your story was very touching. Now, the best Christmas ever, as uh, Matt and Jamie told everybody uh, about, uh, was about a family that has come across some times that are difficult at no fault of their own. And this really was truly uh, not of your fault, but you had some hard times with your family too prior to this, correct? Yes. Um, Luke's father passed away mm -hmm. the end of June after a battle with cancer. Um, it started as esophageal cancer mm -hmm. and then had kind of spread through his body and he had tumors on the brain and stuff. And then... Um, so that was rough. Uh, yeah. obviously a Luke uh, for that and that happened uh, earlier in the year and then uh, what happened with with Matt that was really uh, the, the second hit in that year. He started show. having a lot of flu-like symptoms and stuff <clears throat> and we had taken him to the doctor quite a few times actually before we ended up finally going to blank and they ran a few tests did a chest x-ray and came and told us that yeah, your son has cancer. Wow, uh, yeah. Matt, that had to just be, you know, a, a punch, uh, yeah. really, because uh, you just got done losing uh, your grandpa, and now they're saying that you have something like that too. Um, what were your first thoughts? I was scared. Mm -hmm. And rightfully so. Yeah. Um, I mean, I just seen my grandpa fight through the whole thing, and I realized what I have to go through. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, but you're going to be starting. Uh, you, you, but you did find you did find out there is a way to fight this, though, right? Yep. And that had to give you some encouragement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So after you losing your grand, grandpa, then you find out you're going to be fighting the same thing. Did your grandpa's strength give you some strength to say that I'm going to do this? Yeah, definitely. That is awesome. But uh, we talked about uh, the best Christmas ever uh, with Matt and Jamie uh, jumping on board with the program. And you had to be nominated uh, by a family uh, or by a person. Your family was nominated. No, we're taking a look at some of the pictures here. There's Matt and Jamie. Uh, you know, they're over at the uh, 
National Sprint Car Hall of Fame. That's where the uh, collecting site was, by the way, and the wrapping party was. Yeah. I'm not sure if you guys heard the details on this. And uh, afterwards. Afterwards, yeah. <laughs> last Saturday, a big old wrapping party and fundraiser uh, over at the National Sprint Car Hall of Fame. And there is the whole gang here. I want to make sure we give credit to everybody in the gang here. This is the whole group that helped put everything together. There's uh, Kelsey, JC, uh, there's Jamie there, the third one over. Uh, there's uh, Matthew, uh, Tarrant, and Cade. And those are the primary players that put this whole thing together, uh, which was really outstanding. Well done by everybody there as we continue on. And this was the cool thing that we saw coming out of this, uh, the National Sprint Car Hall of Fame, was uh, this box with some <laughs> balloons on it, some Mickey balloons. And you heard uh, in the uh, little piece that was done that that's, that's going to be something real special, going yeah. to Disney World. Has, have you guys ever been to Disney World, Matt? No, we haven't. Have you ever been anywhere as a family, like everybody all together, uh, you know, going to something like this? Not like this, but we went. We took a family trip down to Georgia to see his mom. My mom. Okay. Yep. But nothing like this where it could be just all fun, fun, just fun. Cut and, loose and, and have fun. No, we yeah, have never. No. Never. It, I've never been to Disney even as a child. Or either has vacations played. are expensive. Va yeah, vacations <laughs> are expensive, but they, they are taking care of that vacation. Yeah. That was uh, the, the big thing, the big reveal on Friday evening. And you can see some of the people that uh, got involved here. This is over at the fire station, which really uh, is about... What about a block from <laughs> yeah. your house, which we found out? Uh, they said, hey, can you either walk or jump in the car? <laughs> and so it's yeah. like, uh, we'll just jump in the squad car. So we we'll all just made our way around the car. I'm surprised you guys didn't see everybody gathering there. I know. Yeah. No, we were too busy in <laughs> we the house. We did see the lights. Pull and up. tell everybody who this is. That is my Aunt Penny. You're She's my mom's sister. Okay. Um, one of my best friends. She was the maid of honor in my wedding. Like I've always had a very close attachment. And with she her. was the one that uh, nominated yeah. your family. And you have uh, her nomination. I Let do. Her, why don't you just read a, a sentence or two uh, from there that that really touched you and your family from her nomination letter? This family is a blended family. Luke and Nicole are on the Mingo Fire Department. They volunteer for church groups and are loved by so many in their community, especially the kids in the community. And that's what we understand is that the kids in the community call your place, uh, you know, like the, the food stop. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? If they're there, they're eating. You know, we feed everybody. They come in and out. Is that right, Matt? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what's, what's the best thing? What's the best thing your stepmom makes? Oh, I don't. It's not me. He's the better cook. Oh, you're the, you're yeah, the, that's the better cook. He's the oh, better cook. So what are you making, Luke? Uh, uh, we may, I make all kinds of food. I, it's not really spe one specific thing. We just I like to cook. It's yeah. down and, yeah. cooking. And one of the things that was really neat is uh, all these different uh, gifts that you guys were presented with. Everybody got the, the idea was to get at least ten. Okay, yep. and I think you got a little more than ten. And yeah. one of the things you received was cookware. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, and what kind of cookware are we talking about? Uh, it was Pioneer Woman yeah. set. Yeah. So yeah. this is really good. You're, yeah. you're grinning ear to ear right yeah. now just thinking about <laughs> well, it. It was funny because they gave it to her, and I'm like, all right, thanks for the new cookware. <laughs> <laughs> I do cook, but I don't do the down-home cooking yeah. like he does. That is awesome. And then, of course, uh, everybody has all these Nintendo things. That, what was the coolest thing that you got so far? Uh, probably the Nintendo Switch and the trip to Disney World. Yeah, uh, isn't that cool? And then all the gear. Yep. Uh, you guys yeah. got outfitted with gear uh, from all these different drivers uh, from Knoxville Raceway. And you have tickets for Knoxville to see the World yep. of Outlaws, we understand, the Capitani Classic. So your yep. family's going to be able to go see the Capitani Classic, which is really cool. But of all the race gear, this is where I'm going to help you guys out here. All the race gear they got, guess whose race gear they didn't get? Jamie's Jamie or and Matthew. Matthews. <laughs> So we, when you guys get your new stuff, obviously you need to get some gear <laughs> yeah, uh, over here. Sure. We'll help deliver it for you if need be. So right. uh, just one more quick thing I just want to show. I want to show the scene when we rolled up here. <laughs> this is what it looked like. All the fire trucks, the lights going, the police cars. And look at all the volunteers. There was almost 50 people that came out to help this, to help this become a reality. Nicole, what does that mean to you? Uh, we have an amazing... Community. Amazing community, you know, me working for the local school district and Luke's been with the Colfax or Mingo Fire Department for the last nine years. I um, recently took a break in July from the fire department, not realizing what was coming up for me, um, and, but that's our family, the fire departments locally. And it sounds that's like our family. this guy here is part of the uh, the fire department family now, too. Is that right, Matt? Yeah, I joined the junior fire department. I got nominated by uh, John Halfordy, the sheriff of 
Jasper County. Oh, that is so cool. Who's close. also our fire chief. Keeping yeah. it all in the family. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Well, we just wanted to uh, bring you guys in here because it was such a cool thing and such a special Friday evening over at your place, and we wish you the very, very best. Matt, kick cancer's butt. That's the idea, man. <laughs> That's what we're going to do, right? Yeah. And we're going to be there with you every step of the way, man. Congratulations and on your fight upcoming because we know you're going to win. And that's the whole idea. Thank you so much, Luke. Nicole. Thank you very much. And uh, folks, uh, you guys are just an amazing family, and we wish you absolutely the very best. All right, folks, you want to find out more about this best Christmas ever, check it out for yourself, and we'll see if we can continue the tradition here in central Iowa to make everyone's Christmas the best ever. We will be right back. This is Iowa Live.